This video is a part of Open Wall Learning Contest on the occasion of 125 years from the first Ukrainian settlements in Canada. Hi, my name is Serhii Kanavalov and today I want to introduce to all my fellow Ukrainians great person Sylvia Olha Fedoruk, great physicist, inventor and the 17th governor of Saskatchewan. After a small research I made, it came to light that not a lot of Ukrainians know something about this remarkable person. You may say that it has no sense to make such video for Ukrainians in English. We'll see. Hello, what can you tell us about the famous person of Olga Fedor? Ah, English, Sylvia Hi, what can you tell about Olga Sylvia Fedorov? Hi, what do you know about famous physicist Olga Sylvia Fedorov? What do you know about famous person of Olha Silvia Federu? Hello. Today we are visiting Olha Silvia Federuk, Canadian scientist and 17th governor of Saskatchewan. Well, I mean, it's not actual Silvia Federuk. Silvia Federuk is dead already. It's an actor. Uh, my girlfriend well, however, hello, Sylvia. Can you say that you are a remarkable person in Canadian history and represent the best part of Ukrainians in Canada? Well, yes. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Sylvia Fedoruk was born in 1927 in a family of Ukrainian immigrants Theodore and Anne Fedoruk. Her childhood passed all in study with a great success. She received Ernest J. Creed Medal after graduating college and Governor General's Golden Medal after her VA. Right after receiving MA in Physics, she started her work on world-famous first Cobalt-60 unit to threat cancer and first nuclear medicine scanning machine. These inventions changed lives of thousands of people, however, she didn't stop. During next year, she became the first woman counselor of the Saskatchewan University first woman member of the Atomic Energy Control Board of Canada, 17th Governor of Saskatchewan, and was inducted into the Canadian Hall of Fame. However, her biography by itself is not the main thing I wanted to tell you about. Behind every story of success stand just simple people, but their faith, their strong spirit, and their passion lead them to the great results that we can see and feel nowadays. That's why I encourage you to learn more about such incredible inventors, to be inspired, to reach your goals, and to inspire other generations with your great success. 